What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up on last time, uh, we successfully captured the city of Riga and we also repulsed an Austrian attack on Vilnius. And now um, we are attacking quite a small Austrian army but the idea is to start moving our front line forward. So without further ado, let's attack! And the reason why I'm manually attacking a army of this size is chiefly because the auto resolve can really screw up our kill ratios quite significantly. And because I'm attacking at the end of a turn, I have no money to immediately reinforce. So arguably, arguably I shouldn't attack, but on the other hand, attacking is fun. So let's deploy... can I deploy my... I mean, up here... They're immobile, but looks cool. Although I might only be able to do one, because right now this guy will kill his <laughs> he'll kill his trailing team. I can't really deploy him anywhere else that won't cause friendly fire. So let's put you up here. Okay, let's create one wing of troops. Create another wing of troops. Mixture of elite and line infantry. Now you can stay like that. I'll deploy you out fairly quickly. Cavalry on the flank. Semat will march up the center. Hopefully they both bomb. Well, they're probably going to bombard the uh, artillery. Probably might get some good kills on the dragoons. Yep, collateral damage. That's right. Everyone's going to run. our cavalry now on the flank the artillery is doing the right thing and focusing on their artillery here come their grenadier guards a horse horse regiment of dragoons horse grenadier guards here comes the quick line. Knocked a hole in these grenadier guards. Let's run my infantry because the morale is probably going to break very quickly when it does. Charge the guards with my infantry with a unit of my cavalry. Let's probably get my general out here. So let's get my cavalry round behind him and then attack because they're guards will win. Ah, oh, not didn't really get much of a charge off. Yeah, my super here doing quite well. The job is the main job my ought to have is just to hold. Cavalry haven't lost their first man yet. Let's get my cavalry over. Let's get my general over. Yeah, the, the Ulan's attacked my 
There's some infantry. They won't have to hold for very long because my uh, the guards are about to break. The 12th Regiment of Foot. Okay, let's hold all my artillery fire. Damn right, I want to continue. Hold everyone's fire at will orders. After you've ganged up on that grenadier for long enough. Knock out these grenadier guards. I'm not sure if we got them all off, they routed, but it looks like it was quite a good little win. It's not a bad ratio but we took him out without too many losses to our own men so let's do a bit of recruiting the army of Vilnius needs a bit of replenishment I can spend a bit to recruit two more of my cavalrymen the men at Riga need a bit more reinforcement before they hit Yelgava okay so we advanced we've got steam pump land drainage which is great. We've assigned that Hashashin, but let's sort out the land drainage first. It's quite a late game tech for that, for just a traditional university. Although there's not really anything else to put them on that's any quicker. Preserved foods. There you go. So what do we need? Do we need interchangeable parts for machine rifling? Oh no, we need the army stuff college to get. Nizam Chidit Rifles. Delicious. Lots of successful missions. Already pre-converting pre the population to try and increase religious unrest. While at the same time building up our forces. The Noose Titans are going to have five stacks pushing through this, en this central part. God, that's the massive concentration of troops right there. And it's growing ever more. Don't worry, want to march along and take Warsaw first. Well, hopefully take Warsaw first. I managed to cause, managed to uh, catch a recording snafu pretty quickly actually this time. But I think that's what I need to do really, is spend more time keeping an eye on the clock and making sure I don't lose too much time because I don't know why it's I don't know quite why I started doing this it seems to kind of think the uh that, that empire is not responding and it might be the case maybe during the end turn phase at times it kind of crashes Ooh, do I want to intercept force and attack because an because an, a Prussian rifleman got too close yes please I will always take a defensive, a defensive action. Always, always, always. Because then you know you've got the time to let them come to you and you can batter them with artillery. But remember though, you can have one foot artillery unit, but we need to deploy one over here. Because that's where we know they will come from. So it's 
make a good line of line infantry and janissary and grenadiers. Like so. Put more of an elite line out here to hold. We've got our sick bands and our melee infantry to hunker down. Deploy my cavalry to help provide some support. General in the center. I mean, obviously, that's what happens. <laughs> the, uh, they actually come from the other direction. Sounds about right. You guys halt fire. You guys run. Let's get ready to commit our cavalry. Push up this infantry quickly. So that we can destroy that unit as efficiently and as quickly as possible and allow us to redeploy our entire army. So they'll open they'll open up first, but we'll be to be honest, at this point I could just send my Janissaries in to engage. Deploy my other infantry into the line. They'll take some damage, but they're only light infantry. Well, those aren't the right sounds. Unless rifles are significantly different than I imagined in this era. Melee infantry hunker down, all my artillery reposition. There goes the uh, the general for the Jaegers. Cavalry no longer needed directly at the front to respond to a rush from their cavalry. Maybe deploy you fellows about here. Limber. There come some mortar batteries. Yeah, engage that Lancer unit. Round shot it is. Let's see how good you gunners are. You downed a bunch of them with one really good hit. No, don't deploy square, just shoot. Don't quite know what regiment they're after, but they're running at such a such an angle to my line, they couldn't help but get shot to ribbons with a bit of artillery fire just to make sure they don't come back. Let's hit this unit of dragoons, horse grenadier guards. Let's pick some targets for my quick line to engage. Comes the first volley. Shells incoming. Lovely. We've got some hits onto this their special hussar unit over here on the flank. Not quite sure I'm a big fan of the colour scheme. So they're getting ready getting ready to try and charge us again. Let's 
Try blasting with cannons to shot if you can get an angle off on in time. There we go. Good hits. You engage the horse, grenadier guards. Same with you, really. Got a lot of cavalry to our front. Now you guys start to hit the line infantry in reserve. Okay, now let's start to target some of the reinforcements, considering the bulk of their skirmishing fleet has been destroyed. You can even canister the line of infantry guards. Don't worry, soon they're going to start creating some opportunities for me to get some good some good uh, fire by rank going. Okay, let's pivot our line. Should. I was going to say we should be dropping some quick on the marines. Misfire on the line infantry guards. Everyone else, however, seems unaffected. start to get my cavalry in a position to intercept any routing units. I particularly want my general to go knock out their mortars at the back. Swiss Jaeger. They'll be done for. Again, the mountains are fun. The, the audio is funny for rifles. Funny, though. As they get sliced down. Focus fire on their position here. Deploy my melee infantry to charge their hussars, even though they've charged an elite infantry unit in the front. push up. Run the cavalry along. Run my camels along, I should say. No, don't hit them. They're about to get quicklined. Just take out the line infantry. There's only three of them. They're right next to you all. On. It's one guy. Good. Straight onto the Marines. Pick up our men. Come on, you guys can take out our mortar battery crew. All my howitzers hit this guard unit. Same with all of my artillery. Let me 
make sure they don't route you towards the towards the spikes. Damn right way to continue. Ah, spikes. Just some of them ran through the spikes. This is why spikes are frustrating. It's not that they're inherently super good themselves, but a simple order just resulted in a pathfinding issue that my camels couldn't deal with. Come on, you fellas! Four men left. Two, one, dead. the garrison guards before they route. Oh, is there one? Oh, there's one clever garrison guardsman. But is he clever enough? I think he is. He's just gonna make it. <laughs> Sneaky devil. There we go. 300 men. 300 loyal Ottomans lost for 1,700 not Prussians, but mostly Austrians. But that's him dead and this army batten. Oh, it's a different army than I thought. Well, you're going to get slowly beaten back. We aren't taking this lightly. It's a lot of manoeuvre. But don't worry, we are building our forces. And we're going to smash our way through this front line. They demand infinite military access and they offer threshing machine? No. No military access for you. I suppose they want to fight Austria, I would imagine. Or they wanted to open up another flank to the Prussians, but they can still swivel. Yep, yeah, the Mughals are making moves. But let's see. It won't be long before they turn on us. We have another Imam in Bulgaria. Oh, frame rate drop. Not a very good one. Let's get him over to Zagreb because we've already converting Sarajevo to our side. <laughs> good, you guys have marched up. Get these guys to replenish. Are those guys going to be an annoying bunch of wieners and ra raid around? Probably is the answer to that. Hmm. There's not really a lot we can do about it. All my other armies are all strategically placed. Some good investment down at the front. Your army's still growing. I would like Nizam infantry, but I don't think I'm going to get it because you, you only, need, only need three more men onto your queue. Let's get another sec ban and then. I don't really grenadiers, but we've got some. I, might get, I just might get some more Cairo infantry guards because they're the only place we can recruit them and they're probably the only armies I'm going to actually use them in. Realistically. Drop 
some good upgrades here on Cairo. In Cairo. Well, in Egypt, I should say. Naval recruitment still going, and let's add another first and second to that. The Sipahis are marching up. Cavalry is marching up. What else have you got? Let's get two more Janissaries and let's get a. Nizam Light Infantry to fill the gap. You're going to get a Madrasa. And you're going to get a Madrasa. You're going to get replenished and I'm going to upgrade you to Military Governor's Barracks. About to get a bunch of resistance to foreign occupation bonuses because of this guy. March south a bit just to make sure we cover as much territory as possible because you're moving up. So you're within striking distance of Warsaw, which currently has no garrison. Okay, I think the call is take these guys. No. Take this uh, city. And let's build some... I can't even recruit Israeli here. I suppose I, I can't recruit... Well, I don't know. I don't know why I can't recruit them, really. Um, let's check the cities to make sure when they are fully converted they are moved over obviously you're fully converted so you can become a not another madrasa um then in Tbilisi you guys can pick up a 24 pounder oh i've got a new town oh you were the new town oh no you've already got a madrasa um you can sit not doing anything for now You can. So great, this madrasa. Let's get the conversion going. So when this guy moves on Warsaw, I want him to have immediate support, not you know support lagging behind. We're about to get copper bottoms. We've got a whole new bunch of buildings built, including madrasas. Good. Successful missions abound. Recruitment, Ukraine, yes. Moscow, yes. Galicia, yes. Serbia, yes. You're going the long way around to try and reinforce this guy. Although I do need to make sure I keep rolling out my roads. So let's hit enter. There, frame ratey spy shenanigans. I think they must... The pathfinding is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Ooh, you... Uh, just take the one. <laughs> That's a lot of men. And they must have heard me. They must have seen me click onto the capital. Because they know. They know that's what I'm interested in. I don't think that would be a bridge battle. I don't I don't think it would. So what I could do, if I was mean, <laughs> is just save scum it, but I'm not going to. And I've I remember we've had this before where we fought a battle like this and it hasn't been a bridge battle despite this. So I'm going to say no. 
and I mean I, I'm going to accept that because it's a tiny army. So we're going to, we're not attacking, we're not drawing in the main force. We're drawing in this guy and this smaller army here. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.